The HMAS Hobart DDG-39 serves as the lead vessel in the Hobart-class air warfare destroyers, providing the Royal Australian Navy with a potent and modern multi-role warship. Based on the Spanish Alvaro de Bazan-class design, the vessel incorporates the sophisticated Aegis combat system, making it a formidable asset in air defense, surface warfare, and anti-submarine operations. Despite facing significant construction delays and cost overruns, the ship has emerged as a critical component of Australia's naval capabilities, with a focus on ensuring maritime security in the Indo-Pacific region. The Hobart-class program encountered numerous difficulties from its inception. The ship was ordered in 2007 as part of a three-ship procurement, but production setbacks led to significant delays. The vessel was originally scheduled for commissioning in December 2014, but problems such as incorrect hull block designs, manufacturing defects in internal components, and the need to replace a quarter of the ship's piping system contributed to a commissioning date pushed back to 2017. The ship was finally delivered to the RAN in June 2017 and commissioned in September of the same year. The construction process involved collaboration between ASC in South Australia, BAE Systems Australia in Victoria, and Forgax Group in New South Wales. The ship was built in modular form with 31 prefabricated blocks assembled at the Osborne shipyard. Delays in block fabrication led to further project slippages, exacerbated by challenges such as reworking the central keel block and addressing defects in the mast and internal systems. HMAS Hobart is designed for multi-role operations with a primary focus on air defense. It is equipped with the Aegis AN Spy 1D V radar system, providing high-end tracking and targeting capabilities against airborne threats. Supporting this system is the AN SPQ 9B radar, which enhances surface search and tracking. The ship also utilizes the Raytheon Mark 99 fire control system and the Sagem Vampire infrared search and track system, ensuring a robust defensive suite. The ship's offensive and defensive capabilities are anchored in its 48-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system, capable of launching RIM-66 Standard 2 and RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles. Additionally, the vessel is fitted with Harpoon anti-ship missile launchers, a 5-inch Mark 45 Mod 4 naval gun, Mark 32 Mod 9 twin-tube torpedo launchers for Eurotorp Mu-90 torpedoes, and close-in weapons systems such as the Phalanx CIWS and M242 Bushmaster chain guns. HMAS Hobart also supports aviation operations, with a flight deck and hangar accommodating an MH-60R Seahawk helicopter, which enhances the ship's anti-submarine and reconnaissance capabilities. The helicopter provides extended reach in detecting and neutralizing subsurface threats, as well as contributing to search and rescue operations when needed. In terms of propulsion, the ship features a combined diesel or gas system with two General Electric Marine LM2500 SA MLG38 gas turbines and two Caterpillar 3616 diesel engines, providing a top speed of 28 knots and a range of over 5,000 nautical miles. This combination offers both high-speed maneuverability and fuel efficiency for extended deployments. Following its commissioning, HMAS Hobart underwent a rigorous testing phase, including a five-month deployment to the United States in 2018 for combat system trials. This deployment validated the ship's combat readiness, culminating in successful missile firings. In late 2019, the vessel embarked on its first operational deployment, leading in RAN task group in Northern and Southeast Asia. This deployment underscored Australia's commitment to regional security and interoperability with allies. Hobart later participated in RIMPAC 2020, one of the world's largest maritime exercises, reinforcing its role within a broader multinational defense framework. HMAS Hobart has also maintained a ceremonial presence, participating in events such as the Royal Hobart Regatta and the Freedom of Entry Parade in its namesake city. These engagements reinforce its symbolic and operational significance to Australia.
During international joint exercises, HMAS Hobart has demonstrated its capability in a variety of mission profiles, including missile defense scenarios, fleet protection, and coordinated anti-submarine warfare drills. The ship has been deployed alongside U.S., Japanese, and South Korean naval assets, improving tactical cooperation and ensuring seamless integration within allied task forces. As one of Australia's most advanced warships, HMAS Hobart plays a crucial role in the country's maritime strategy. It provides a protective umbrella for naval task forces, safeguards maritime trade routes, and enhances cooperative security efforts with allied navies. Its integration with the Aegis system allows interoperability with the United States Navy and other Aegis-equipped forces, reinforcing Australia's position in the Indo-Pacific security architecture. The ship also serves as a force multiplier, extending the RAND's reach through its layered defense systems, anti-submarine capabilities, and ability to coordinate joint operations with the Royal Australian Air Force and Allied forces. This capability is particularly relevant in countering evolving threats such as long-range missile strikes and submarine incursions in the increasingly contested Indo-Pacific maritime domain. As tensions in the region continue to rise, HMAS Hobart and her sister ships provide a critical deterrent against potential adversaries. The vessel's high-end capabilities allow it to function as an area air defense platform, protecting high-value naval assets such as amphibious assault ships and supply vessels in contested waters. When assessed against regional counterparts, HMAS Hobart stands as one of the most advanced destroyers in the Indo-Pacific. Compared to China's Type 052D destroyers, which feature a 64-cell VLS and YJ-18 anti-ship missiles, Hobart has a smaller missile capacity but benefits from superior Western combat systems and integration with Allied forces. Japan's Maya-class destroyers, equipped with Aegis Baseline J-7 and SM-3 interceptors, provide a stronger ballistic missile defense capability, whereas Hobart focuses more on fleet air defense and multi-mission flexibility. South Korea's Sejong, the Great Class Destroyers, outmatch Hobart in firepower, featuring a 128-cell VLS system. However, Australia's emphasis on interoperability and force projection ensures that the, the Hobart-class destroyers remain highly capable in coalition operations. The vessel's ability to seamlessly operate with U.S. carrier strike groups and allied fleets gives it a unique strategic advantage that extends beyond raw firepower. HMAS Hobart represents a significant step forward for the Royal Australian Navy, offering advanced combat capabilities, strategic deterrence, and force projection in the Indo-Pacific region. Despite initial setbacks, the ship has successfully integrated into the RAND's operational framework and continues to play a vital role in Australia's defense posture. When compared to regional peers, the Hobart class excels in networked warfare, air defense, and cooperative mission execution, making it a cornerstone of modern Australian naval strategy. As Australia continues to modernize its fleet and expand its naval presence, the role of the Hobart-class destroyers will only grow in significance, ensuring the country's maritime security for decades to come.